Hello, good morning. Two days ago, I post my first YouTube video in a year and a half, maybe more, where I was, you know, I'm vlogging and here I am and here's my life, blah, blah, blah. And I'm happy that I'm coming back to vlogging uh, because it's something that I always enjoyed. So I post this one video, I just like, bah, I'm back. And that was two days ago. Then yesterday, I spent most of the day filming myself in various settings. I'm having the best time of my life, thinking various thoughts. I'm so excited for this life, doing various things. I'm very intrigued right now. But then I looked back at that footage and it's like, okay, wow, that's a lot, first of all. I want this season to be much better than the previous one and how can I make it better? How can I learn from the mistakes of the past and continue to improve my work, my content and myself, obviously. So I sat down with my notebook and I created a schedule. I have a daily schedule now, how I'm going to live my life. And then also I've decided how I'm going to go about this channel. I'm gonna make three videos per week. The first video will be a story. I'll talk about my life in Buenos Aires, learning the tango, learning a foreign language, my experiences in that, share anecdotes, include video footage of you know, that I take throughout my day, sort of a personal like, here's my life. Then the second video of the week will be lesson slash philosophy. Because what I love to do is to think about the big questions and what is reality? How do we achieve? I'm gonna return to that in just a second because I wanna say something subversive and intriguing. But first, just to gloss over it, the third video will be a Sunday wash. That was something I did in season one, which was every Sunday I just, took all the footage that I didn't use throughout the week and clipped out some of the funnier or more interesting or just more beautiful things and just sort of strung them together. And I called it the Sunday wash because it's like just all the laundry, the shit that piles up on the floor and then you just put it in the washing machine and here's a video. So I put lesson slash philosophy dash, sorry, finger, dash happiness. Because it's like, well, what am I, I wanna have some, some common thread that unites these things and it could be something as broad and yet as important as the concept of happiness. What is happiness and how do we achieve it? Because I'm a, a happy person. Somehow I am living proof that real, real, real deep fulfilling happiness is totally attainable. <laughs> so I thought I could talk about happiness, but I started to think this morning because something happened with one of you. There was a comment on my last video that was a request for me to be topless, which I did not appreciate because I found it rude and disrespectful, but it led me, first of all, to say, hey, I find this rude and disrespectful, and then the person replied, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way, and this sparked me in this the thought process. I know that I get lots of male attention. It's a huge part of my life. It's always been a part of my life. It's even more a part of my online life. Uh, and I feel like I need to not ignore that or, or just let it be. I need to lean into that because it's very present and I think that I can do good work for the world by acknowledging that and, and opening up a dialogue. This is what I wanna do, I think. It's fucking so difficult because it's subversive and it's uncomfortable territory, for sure. Talking to men specifically, but also to women about this exact thing, the relationship of a woman's sexuality and with the men who perceive it. Um, so when it comes to this comment that I just told the story about, I did post a video of myself wearing a silk robe and nothing else and writhing around with a snake and like, the snake represents me. I take responsibility for that. I did that and I, I post it on the internet. And then some man's like, hey, I wanna see more of that. And I'm like, how could you disrespect me? I have to accept responsibility for that. But at the same time, I accept responsibility as a woman that I have to train men how to receive me in a way that I'm comfortable with. And this is something I've been feeling strongly about for a long time. And I try to talk to women about, women who are so ready to be, men are so fucking disgusting. Some of them definitely are, no question. But most of them just don't know any better. They just, they don't. 
No one's ever taught them. And then they say something or they do something and women are like, ugh, you're a fucking pig. And then they're like, women are bitches. Like, uh, because it's just confusion on both sides. So due to that comment and thank you, I'm feeling really inspired that the thing I should really be talking about is not happiness, which lots of people are already talking about very well, but femininity, masculinity, intimacy between these two poles when they come together and have an encounter, however brief, however shallow, however deep, however long lasting. I'd like to talk more about this, especially because I am so deeply immersing myself in the tango world, which is a world of interplay between masculine and feminine energies. So I'm, I'm really at the perfect place to, to start these discussions. And I can do something that other people are not doing. So I think that's why I should be doing this and I'm going to do this. I look forward to seeing what happens. Because right now it's just an idea. So the manifestation will occur in coming weeks, in coming videos, please subscribe. And I also wanna say that I am on Instagram. Arting darling is my handle because it's like, what are you doing with your life? I'm arting darling. That's how I, that's the best I can come up with as an answer to that question. I'm, like, I'm, I'm making art, just leave me be. <laughs> Arting Darling on Instagram and also on Twitter. Uh, if you would like to see more of the actual meat of my life, like, yeah, okay, great. You're doing all this stuff, but like, well, where is it? Show me. I'm showing you, but on Instagram, the, the YouTube platform is more for this. And then like pictures and videos of the, substance of my world, the dancing, the school, the places, the parties, that's gonna really be more over there in the stories. So if that's what you wanna see, please go there as well. Follow me, subscribe to me, and support me if you can. Even the kind of change you give to homeless people, I will accept with deep, deep gratitude. Over on Patreon, thanks so much.